Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Pirate here, and in today's fun scroll saw project video, I have another amazing spiritual design by Steve Good, and it's going along with the Christmas theme, but really, really cool. I've already got the pattern printed out, and I do not have it attached to our material yet, and I'm about to say why here in a second, but this is a special project as it's scroll saw segmentation, which is a really cool technique that you can use and implement on the scroll saw with certain patterns. I'm going to go on and show you the design now, and it is Mary Joseph and Baby Jesus, and you see there's not a lot of internal cutting here. The only thing that's going to be internal cuts is the eyes of the characters and Mary's mouth here. But scroll saw segmentation is where we're going to attach the pattern to the material, cut everything out like a puzzle, but then remove the pattern and sand and shape everything with the sanders in the workshop and then glue everything back together. On the reverse side of our material, I have put pencil marks all over it so I can remember what is the face side and the viewing side of the project when we're getting done with it so I know where everything goes and I've also got a picture of Steve's project saved on my phone for reference as well. I'm going to have to attach the pattern with spray adhesive which is something that I don't normally use here on the channel. I usually use packing tape and packing tape would not work in this instance because all of the pieces are coming out like a puzzle piece and we're going to keep very careful track of them as they do. So spray adhesive will be the way to go with this project. With all that being said and those new to scroll saw segmentation, I've only done one segmented project in the past and I'll show that to you guys a little later on. But let's move the camera over to the workbench, get the piece attached to the material and get started. And over here on the workbench I'll begin by putting down a layer of blue painters tape. This will just help to remove the pattern later on in the video and we will attach the pattern with spray adhesive and after it gets tacky I will line it up and smooth it out on our piece of oak material here and we will head over to the drill press and drill all of the pilot holes and the only internal cutting in this project is the faces of Mary, Joseph and Jesus but then we will head over to the scroll saw and begin scrolling where I will quickly cut out the internal cuts here to where we can just remove the piece and retension the blade and do all of the rest of the cuts which are technically just outside cuts following the cut line. I am using a number 5 ultra reverse scroll saw blade and even though this is 3 quarter inch oak it is cutting exceptionally well. And after cutting the profile of the piece here I will mark out on a piece of 1 8 inch plywood for the backer board and when it comes time to cutting out the backer board I will cut it slightly smaller than the actual size of the finished piece that way the backer board is hidden once the piece is completed but now all the rest of the cuts are just following the cut lines and I have a clear plastic container over to my left where I'm keeping track of all of my pieces to make sure I don't lose any if you guys would like to try this pattern, it is available as a free pattern download over at Steve Good's scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com website over in his free pattern catalog. I am just taking my time and letting the blade do the work here. And it took me around 35 minutes to cut everything out. And oak is a harder material. And if you rush the job, you will get burn marks on your scroll saw pieces and as I always say I'm just taking my time and guiding the blade along the line. Of course what we're cutting out here is the greatest story ever told and that is the birth of Jesus Christ and the nativity scene and the true meaning of Christmas. If you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my channel and also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate. I'd really appreciate the support. Some of the pieces here are very small and tedious to cut. I just kept one finger on the piece that was being released to keep track of it and I didn't lose any pieces along the way, thankfully. But once we cut out this final piece here, we will cut out the backer board with the same blade. And then we can proceed to peeling off the pattern from all of the pieces. And this is one of the reasons why I do not use spray adhesive a lot. It just takes so much time here to peel everything off. And I will not bore you by showing me peeling off each individual piece. But it seemed like it took 
longer to peel everything off than it did to cut out the actual piece on the scroll saw. Clear packing tape just wasn't a viable option on this project. But then we will head over here and shape and contour each individual piece and I used my marathon rotary tool from Bearwood Supply that Sterling Davis kindly sent me. And you can sand and shape as much or as little on this project as you want. I just gave everything a slight round over making sure that I was shaping the correct face side that would be presented once the project was glued back together. And again this is something I will not bore you by showing you each individual piece being sanded. Just showing the general concept here. But once everything is sanded and shaped I will do a dry fit over on the workbench. And to me doing a dry fit just helps when it comes to the actual glue up because I used some CA glue, some medium grade CA glue that dries quickly to where I could get everything back together. But the dry fit here really helped me in the long run and having an extra copy of the pattern and also a picture on my phone if I needed it for reference. But once my dry fit was complete, it was time to do the actual glue up. And it took around 10 minutes to do this and just put in dabs of CA glue and held everything in place until I felt everything grab. But I had a lot of fun on this project and really enjoyed the differentness of doing a project like this and really enjoyed it. But once everything was glued up and I let it dry for around five minutes, I gave it several coats of clear gloss and the project was complete. And here we have the completed segmented nativity scene cut out completely on the scroll saw and then sanded and contoured with the rotary tool and it came out fantastic. Thank you, Steve Good, for another amazing design from your pattern catalog, but really, really cool. It took me around 30 minutes to scroll this out. There were some small pieces to keep up with. But I just had my little container over there, and I kept all the parts in it. But really, really cool, and the clear coat at the end really, really made everything pop. These segmented patterns are always amazing. Of course, if you want to take the time and you're good with paints, you can go in there and paint the figures to really give it a beautiful effect. I know someone done Steve Good's snowman segmented pattern that he's also released, and then and painted the snowman and it turned out so pretty in the video but really really cool I had a lot of fun making this there is some gaps in here and I'm gonna attribute that to the scroll saw blade kerf now as you've seen I had the larger version of the pattern printed out because I was originally gonna use a number two blade and cut this out of pine shelving board and then stain it unfortunately I did not have none out here that was suited for this project and with the number two blade the kerf would have been smaller so with oak and it being 3 8 inch thick like this I had to use the number five to cut everything out and I attribute that to some of the gaps you see in there but for a second ever segmented scroll saw project I think it came out fantastic again here was the first one I made way back in 2017 and here's the one we're making here at the end of 2022 but really really cool if you guys would like to try a pattern like this but would not want to attempt all the small pieces like I had to keep up with here, I think you could go get a coloring book, scan in a coloring page, cut everything, and then shape it, and then glue it back together to just try the method. You might end up liking it and then want to do intarsia. I do want to one day get into intarsia when I do have multiple species of wood on hand to test out the ability. If you guys want to see what intarsia really looks like and how it is tremendously done, I would highly encourage you to check out Judy Gale Roberts' intarsia page. She does some beautiful designs and some beautiful just creations out of wood and it's really really cool once again depicted here is the greatest story ever told we have the newborn king there in his mother's arm with his family here his earthly family of course this is the true meaning of the season I had a lot of fun making this video and I hope you guys like watching me make it if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and also follow me over on Instagram at artisan pirate links to all my social medias as well as ways to contact me will always be linked down in the description box below these videos that's about all for this one and remember guys if I can make it or do it so can you I'm the artisan pirate 
Take care. God bless you all, and I'll see you guys real soon.